Hi friends. So today we're going to talk about Trixie and Milo knives. Now, as you can see, these knives are a sunfish pattern and I managed to get my hands on another one. These knives is hard to find amigos. Okay. And if you want to check out Tobias's channel, Tobias Gibson, Knife Chats with Tobias, he has pretty much all the info on this and I think he might own all the patterns I'm not sure um, but I think there are five total uh, of these knives that were made and each one has a different type of picture here like for example you see this pinup girl right here and uh, I've done a video on that one before this one has a skull and crossbones we're gonna take a look at them more closely and this is my newest acquisition that I got in a flea market in San Antonio Bussy's flea market paid like 20 bucks for it which i think was fair um and uh, it's the ace of spades right and typically when these things came out i want to say that you know they weren't that expensive i think they were around 20 bucks uh but now if you want to get one of these you probably have to pay a pretty penny i've seen these go for 50 or more it once they do pop up on ebay because they're a little bit rare trixie and milo is an online company and they usually make inexpensive chinese knives although the company looks like the one used to make this one uh, I think may be the same one that makes uh, knives for uh, possibly Rough Rider or, or Frost because um, it looks like they have the same fluting on the brass bolsters. And, and there's a lot of similarities, but that's where the similarities end. I mean, you have a beautiful acrylic type of cover on it, and then you have um, an interesting amenity as far as the tools. Usually when you get a sunfish pattern knife or elephant toe knife, you have the large blade and you have also um, a small uh, spear tip blade, but this is different. Check it out. And they're all like this. Let's take a look at hold fast here, this pinup girl. So you have the beautiful spear tip and it's got a real nice belly, which I really like about it, right? Gorgeous, right? Um, and you have stay sharp on one side and you have hold fast on the other side. But if you close the blade, got a bit of a half stop. On this side, you have a flat head screwdriver cap lifter, which is very useful to have, right? Uh, it looks like the one on a Victorinox, just bigger and fatter, you know, which is pretty cool. And um, they all have those two amenities. And check out this one. This is a skull and crossbones, kind of like a pirate flag, right? Um, this one says, stay sharp. Stay sharp, mateys, right? If you hear a cat in the background, again, that's my cat wanting to come in from the other room, but uh, gosh darn, doesn't it's not getting along with my other cats right now, so it's going to have to stay over there. So yeah, check out that beautiful belly on that knife blade. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's got the match rock nail pull. Um, we got brass liners on this. This is an acrylic handle and uh, got a little spacing issue, but nothing major. Um, this is really good acrylic. They did a good job on that. And uh, we're going to leave that out. Of course, the cap lifter is the same on this knife as it is on that knife, right? But I'm just showing you that so you can get an idea of the type of tools they have. This is my latest acquisition, and it was in somebody's uh, display case. It was just rattling around. So it has a lot of scratches that I've tried to buff out. Uh, but I think I did a decent job. But, you know, these are not brand new, and I do intend on using these. This one also says, stay sharp, right? Just like the pirate flag. Only this one has the ace of spades, amigo. Check it out. It's a real beauty. Um, <laughs> I don't like gambling. I don't gamble. I've never been very, very lucky at it. The, couple, the, the one or two times I've ever gone to a casino, I have broken even both times. And when I break even, I just kind of stay there. I don't go any further than that. I just break even and that's it. And that's been pretty much the story of my life. Okay. So, uh, and I'm very thankful for that, you know. Um, so, gorgeous knife again, as you can see, but, but, Look at that cover, the Ace of Spades. Just super nice knife. Now, I'm fairly certain that Tobias has the other knives like this. I'm fairly certain that he has the the one that's like a sea creature. And I think he also has the one that's like a cat clock. You know, like those cat clocks, that uh, vintage cat clocks with the eyes, the googly eyes that kind of move back and forth. Um, uh, that's the one, honestly, I'm looking for. I really want the one with the cat clock. Uh, but check it out. You know, these are pretty cool knives. So I have a standing search on eBay for Trixie and Milo knife, and it hasn't come up, guys, in like six, seven months. I haven't seen anything. That's how rare they are. 
and they're getting rarer and rarer as we go. But sometimes people come across these and they don't know exactly what they have. And uh, that's when I come in and that's what I hope for. So that's where I'm at with this. I'm hoping to come across the cat clock one one day. And when I do, that, that'll complete my collection. I'm not too big on the sea monster. Uh, but I do like the pirate flag, and I do like the ace of spades, and I definitely like the pinup girl, the hold fast. Really do like those. I guess you could uh, carry these based on your mood. You're in a gambling type mood, you take that one. If uh, you're kind of in a bad mood, and you're in a pirate type mood, uh, mateys, uh, you take that one. Chiver me timbers, right? Or if you have scurvy or whatever. And then uh, hold fast. I don't know what type of mood you'd be in for this one, but yeah, you can use that one as well. Okay, so yeah, I, I I do like these very much. Now, if you were to look up that company on eBay again, Trixie and Milo, right now you'd see them selling like flasks, like for alcohol, and some cheap multi-tool type knives. I just sorry, they're not that great, and and uh, some other like uh, maybe camping stuff. I mean, not great stuff, honestly. Uh, however, um, if you happen to uh, come across one of these on eBay or Etsy, I would jump on it. I would jump on it as fast as you can because these things are getting rarer and rarer and rarer, amigos. Um, all right. If you know any more info on these, please let me know. And please stay tuned to my channel. I also want to thank all my new subscribers. Hey, I don't know if you know, but I do a giveaway every 500 subscribers on my channel. So if you like knife giveaways, you're on the right channel uh, because I do quite a few of those. Also, I want to let you guys know that um, I'm going to go ahead and continue doing videos every Saturday morning is when they're going to come out. Usually 9 a.m. is when they're going to come out around that time. Um, I'm going to try and also have them come out on another occasion, maybe once a week, but that'll be a little bit more rare. Um, if you see me do one midweek, then that's probably because I like, I want to just get one out there to you guys, or maybe I'll do a short. I have quite a few shorts as well. So check out my shorts. I don't mean the kind of shorts you wear. Um, I mean the kind of short videos that come out on YouTube as well. All right. And he goes, all right, friends. So take care. This has been another one by the knife detector. I hope you guys are going to have a blessed weekend. Sorry for my kitty cat yapping over there. Let me see if I can get her. Let me see. Where are you? Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. Oh, you don't want to come in. Oh, make up your mind there. Yeah, no, he didn't want to come in. Um, cats, you know, what are you going to do? Can't love them. Um, I, I mean, can't leave them, and uh, you, you just love them. They're just so furry and beautiful creatures. There it goes again. I swear to goodness, uh, it just doesn't know what it wants to do. All right, friends, take care.